Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 11 starts now. We're tracking thunderstorms tonight heading into the south zone. Find out if this is going to impact your morning commute. Okay, Ben. Primary night across Metro Detroit. We're following several heated races in Birmingham, Bloomfield Township, and Warren. A Detroit mother was with her son stopped at a light when she says all of a sudden, two men opened fire at her car. No! Oh, Lord Jesus! Oh, sir! Sir! <laughs> Starting off the top tonight at 11, we're getting a, our first look really at the moment that those gunmen opened fire. The mother's car was riddled with bullets, but fortunately nobody was hurt. Jermont Terry is live tonight with a video showing how it all happened. Jermont. Kimberly, tonight this family hopes that someone recognizes the men in the video that you're about to see because they have no idea who they are. Yet more importantly, why the men opened fire on their car. Oh, sir! Sir! Woo! A family quickly reverses after someone intentionally opens fire on them. If you think the video is hard to watch, imagine being the people inside the car. I don't understand. What you got to come over the gun for? Etna Burgess and her family were driving along Tyreman and Livernoy Saturday night. Video from her car shows a vehicle like passing in the left lane in a no like passing zone. I don't like that left hand side. You can hear them voice their displeasure with the car coming around. Yet they continue to drive, not thinking much of it. You ain't going nowhere. When both cars got caught by the red light, the family could not believe what the two guys in the car did next. No! Jesus! Oh, sir! Sir! Woo! Two shots fired. Both hit the front of their Kia. Stupid people with guns. You don't have no respect for nobody. What's worse, no one in the car with Etna recognized the men with those guns. They told police they feared the men fired, all because they were driving the speed limit. It's unclear if the men wanted to scare or harm them. This video will likely be key in DPD's investigation. The family is grateful they were able to get away. Throw it in reverse. Get out of the way. Thank God we're still here. They are very fortunate. Now tonight we do know that DPD, they are aware of this video. It's hard to make out the type of car that the men were in, but we do have the raw video and also still images of that, those people involved. If you head over to clickondetroit.com, maybe you can help police identify them. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Jermont. Now let's get to breaking news from Detroit's west side where four people are shot along Seven Mile Road. Police are now trying to sort out what happened. Tim Pamplin is on the scene with a night cam. Tim. The shooting occurring on Seven Mile at Oakfield at Seven Mile just east of the Southfield Expressway. Four men are being told around back uh, in an alley right over here. As I zoom in, you'll see the crime scene tape leading to the alley. Four men playing craps back there. One person wasn't happy with the way the dice roll. He pulled out his gun and started firing. A gun battle then ensued all the way to the front of the store along Seven Mile here. Now a Detroit police cruiser was sitting at this traffic light as all this was going down, watching what was happening. Again, four people taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds after a craps game goes awry. That is the scene on the west side with the night cam. Tim Pamplin, local four. The investigation tomorrow morning. All right, Tim. Now to primary night across Metro Detroit. Several communities heading to the polls uh, in Warren. Mayor Jim Fouts seeking his fourth term as mayor, and he and Kelly Collegio move on to the general election in November after this primary. Voters in Birmingham overwhelmingly rejected that controversial plan to demolish the North Old Woodward parking structure and build a new one. In fact, it failed by a two to one margin. And in Bloomfield Township, voters rejected a millage to fund pensions for public safety workers and retirees. The results on uh, the other races still coming in tonight. We are updating them as we speak at clickondetroit.com. All right, a wet and muggy night in downtown Detroit. Let's get right over to Ben. We had a, a pretty long rain delay over at Comerica Park. How are things looking tonight? Well, so far, Kim, downtown's dry, but we do have showers and thunderstorms rolling into the south zone. A lot of the lightning strikes that we were picking up about an hour ago have started to fade. 
uh, this is starting to become more stable and it's uh, killing a lot of these showers off, but they're just sort of meandering and lingering uh, down there in our south zone. Uh, nothing doing right now downtown, but earlier tonight, as you mentioned, there were two downpours that rolled through Comerica Park. One, two, it was about an hour that they were delayed over there at the ballpark tonight. They are playing. Bernie will have the latest on that coming up. 60s as we start, and there will be patchy fog in spots tomorrow morning. Humidity is going to be with us as well. Big changes, though, coming Thursday. We'll look at those in just a few minutes. Guys? Okay, Ben, the feds unseal another indictment in the long running public corruption probe in Macomb County. This time it's a well known attorney accused of bribery, conspiracy and aiding and abetting. Mara McDonald live at federal courthouse tonight and uh, Mara, this is not over yet. It is not over yet, Kimberly. Here is that indictment and the attorney involved has already been arraigned. Take a look. Jay Schwartz is both a friend and lawyer to now disgraced trash magnate Chuck Rizzo. And now the feds are charging Schwartz for what they say was his part in bribing Clinton Township trustee Dean Reynolds. Reynolds was the first to fall in this federal corruption probe, which started with a look at how Chuck Rizzo was doing business and expanded well beyond to towing titan Gaspar Fiore and others. According to the indictment, Schwartz was in the thick of the bribery of Dean Reynolds, offering free legal services to him in return for his help on the township's trash contract, as well as arranging cash payments to Reynolds. Schwartz's attorney, Gerald Gleason, telling us tonight, quote, the allegations in the indictment simply aren't true, and we look forward to proving that in court. Back here live, Schwartz has already been arraigned. He is out on bond. Meanwhile, the investigation into other top figures in Macomb continues. We're live downtown tonight at the federal courthouse. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, Mara. The first national poll released since last week's debates held here in Detroit, showing Joe Biden maintaining his big lead, according to Quinnip Quinnipiac University, the former vice president showing 32% of support from Democrats and independent voters who lean Democratic. But the big mover of the poll, Senator Elizabeth Warren, generally given pretty strong reviews for her Detroit performance and now polling in second place with 21%. That's a six-point jump from last month. Senator Bernie Sanders, 14% of that vote. And Senator Kamala Harris falling to fourth place with 7%. For her, that is a five-point drop from last month. The FBI has now reopened an investigation into the mass shooting in Dayton, Ohio. Federal investigators say the 24-year-old gunman had expressed a desire to commit a mass shooting. Agents will now try to determine what influenced him and if anyone helped him or knew about his plan in advance of the mass shooting that killed nine people, including his sister. Meanwhile, the family of the accused El Paso mass shooter released a statement today denouncing his actions, saying outside influences drove him to kill 22 people inside a Walmart. The statement comes as families of the victims prepare to bury their loved ones. I wish that I could tell him, I says, why did you do it? Look how many people he ruined. We forgive him. We honestly forgive him. We pray for him. And tomorrow, President Trump will be traveling to both El Paso and Dayton, meeting with victims' families as well as law enforcement. A Detroit home destroyed by an explosion. The house was engulfed in flames when fire officials arrived at the scene. This was the corner of Linville Avenue and Haver Hill, which is on Detroit's east side. DTE investigators said they found no evidence of a gas leak at the vacant house. So the investigation goes on. Neighboring homes were also damaged, but fortunately no one was seriously hurt. Today, a judge heard arguments from various members of Aretha Franklin's family over whom should handle her estate. A judge will allow a handwriting expert to examine multiple wills allegedly written by Franklin. The court will supervise decisions dealing with Franklin's estate until further notice. Attorneys from all sides will meet on August 12th. All right, still to come, it is a type of bacteria resistant to antibiotics. What researchers are now developing to fight these so-called superbugs coming up. And I kind of watched him reach the edge and try to slow himself down, but it was too late and he just tumbled over the edge. A French bulldog survives a six-story fall. How the 30-pound pup walked away with only minor injuries. But first, two masked men rob an armored truck. Dramatic video showing them getting the cash and the shootout that unfolded in the middle of a busy downtown street. We've got that next. 
Are you getting the most out of your child's back to school physical? I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge. Tomorrow at 6 a.m., see what parents can do to help maximize the benefits and the mistake that too many often make. The defenders get results. Karen Drew exposed potential danger on our roads. A guardrail pierced her car and she was killed instantly. My dad was uh, dead on arrival. Defenders have learned these guardrails are used in the state, most of them right here in Metro Detroit. And other states have had issues. And the state decided to take action. The local four defenders know how to get results. Because your moments matter. Need something investigated, contact the defenders.